All right. We back? We are. We are. Welcome back to the December 2nd, 2022 edition of Live Feed Read. I'm Paul Reed, your host, along with the Ed McMahon to my Johnny Carson, Jason Crawford. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm not sure where the two or three of you listening are <laughs> located, but it's a beautiful day here in sunny Brandon, Florida. I can tell you that much. <clears throat> Uh, I believe it's the upper 70s, not a cloud in the sky, low humidity. Love this time of year. I'll tell you, the Yankees the Yankees have it figured out. In the uh, summertime, they head north. In the wintertime, they head south. God bless them. Uh, and that's the way to do it if you can. Um, right. Let's see. What else? Um, oh, all right. So, um Today's topic is, is 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 kind of short and sweet, but it's unbelievably important because in as many days or uh, weeks, uh, we've gotten a, a two or three calls, which is uh, a lot for this subject. And it's simply this. Uh, individuals uh, have gone to a dealership and bought a car. Okay, so far so good, right? Yep. Yeah. They, uh, they leave the dealership. And within either a couple, one of them was like more or less on the way home. And a couple were shortly thereafter, you know, maybe a Thursday or a Friday or a Saturday or Sunday purchase and then get in a crash, uh, you know, before uh, Monday at 8 or 9 a.m. Okay. And come to find out there was no comp and collision on their car. Oh, wow. Meaning their cars were totaled. Uh, whether they were at fault or not, we didn't get into it. But either way, oftentimes, remember, people, Florida only requires $10,000 in property damage, meaning a lot of the people out there driving have $10,000. So if they hit your car and it costs more than $10,000 to either fix it or replace it, yeah, you don't have uh, collision coverage, you're SOL. Mm -hmm. They'll give you the $10,000. And then you're on the hook for the rest. Why is that important? Well, you have a $50,000 car. Uh, you know, Bob out there crashes into it. You're getting $10,000 from his fly-by-night coverage. Yeah. And so if you don't have collision and to get that other $40,000, you're out of luck. Ooh. In this case, these people left the lot. And I don't, again, wasn't clear whether they were fall. Let's assume they were at fault uh, and or the other person didn't have sufficient insurance proceeds to, uh, to, to replace their car. Okay. So now what happened? They have a, not a mortgage, they have a loan, they financed the vehicle, their car's totaled and, and, and they don't have any insurance to, to, uh, Cover it. To, to, to pay the difference. So here's what you need to do. You need to, number one, if you're thinking about buying a car long before you do, and I'm talking about days, you contact your insurance company yeah. and say, look, I'm going to buy a car, okay? Um, what do you need or what do I need to make sure when I leave that dealership, that new car is on your pop, is on my policy? Wow. Now, a lot of policies have a 15 to 30 day uh, 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 type of verbiage uh, in it that says, you know, as long as you notify us that this is the replacement car, uh, and and so it would be covered, uh, then oh, so you like should your be existing fine. Coverage moving to a new vehicle. Is exactly. Okay. okay. I would not rely on that person. I would want to know uh, that I'm covered before. Vehicles. I'm sorry. Especially if you're keeping both vehicles. Well, that's a whole different issue. Yeah, you're yeah, not because that's not, not a role anyway. If it's not a replacement <laughs> yeah. vehicle, right? Then you definitely that's a good point. Let's just yeah. say you're buying a new car and it's not a replacement vehicle, mm -hmm. then you need to make sure you have insurance before you leave that dealership, right? Because what happened is these people say, well, the dealership has a responsibility to make sure I have insurance. Why are you talking? Why are you talking about <laughs> no, they don't. They, yeah. they're, 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 they want to sell you a car. It's right. your responsibility yeah. to make sure that car's covered. Might, might some simple. of this come now, down to like, don't buy a car on Friday? I mean, is that like... Well, a the bottom line is, if you're going to buy a car, you need to make sure that you are covered before you leave the lot. 
yeah. whether it be a, a, a fax, an email, or otherwise. The problem is a lot of people buy cars on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. Insurance companies aren't open on okay. Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. So then it would behoove you to call your insurance company and say, look, um, this isn't a replacement vehicle. I'm going to buy a new car for my son, daughter, husband, wife, mother, brother, friend, or otherwise. What do I need to do before I leave that car lot to make sure I'm covered? And they may say they may have a, a telephone number for weekends and, and, and things of that nature and say, well, you need to call, give us a year make and model and the specifications of the vehicle. Uh, and, and so we can, you know, get it on the policy or otherwise, because mm -hmm. I got news for you. If it's not insured and you leave on Sunday, don't think you're calling on Monday and say, oh, I need $50,000 or $20,000 or $30,000 because I totaled my car. They're going to say, sorry about your luck, Chuck. You didn't have insurance with us when that occurred. Right, right, right. I'm not going to yeah. beat a dead horse. That's rough. Uh, just yeah. make sure before you buy a car, that you're going to finance or otherwise that you know it's insured before you leave that dealership. End of story. And don't rely on the salesperson to tell you, yeah, you're covered. You have 15 days, 30 days. All of these policies are different. Yeah. So you need to make sure. Uh, and like Jason said, I believe that's for, and I think you're right, those are for uh, replacement vehicles. Mm. I'm not sure that applies to a new purchase vehicle, uh, but that's something you need to ask your insurance company yeah, speak before yours. you go shopping. Yeah, for sure. That's all I'm going to say on that, but it's very important because there are three well, people out things. there and as many days that may be out of luck, and, it, and it's a hard a pill to swallow, I can tell you that much. Especially during this time of the year when everybody's oh, trying you to see, do they, they're selling cars and, and, and gifts and it's buying just a car and making uh, sure that's all covered. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's uh, it. Did you I mean, see? Just, you do you do whatever you need. And and remember, people, um he did you said see the news. Wait, the wait, hold on, Jason. Oh, sorry. He said, or or she said, or my insurance company said, that ain't gonna cut it. Who who said? Well, I talked, right. I don't know who I talked to. No, 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 no. Get it in writing, get a fax, get an email. I don't care what drive down to your to your agent, whatever. Don't come to Paul Reed and or or, or, or Morgan and Morgan or when, anybody that don't come and say, well, they they told me I was covered. You know what that's worth, Jason? That ain't worth squat. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they told me the I was covered. Written on no, 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 no. <laughs> you 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 get it in writing via email or otherwise. Yeah. Because it can it can be a life altering problem if you you know owe twenty thirty or forty thousand dollars and you yeah. don't have a car yeah but you still owe five six seven hundred a month on a car you don't have right that's problematic yeah there's a lot yeah, of so the, that... the he said they told me I called you know you get into the email tell them to tell you where it's at in your policy that says I have. 15 days or 30 days on a newly purchased car to insure it under the, you know, follow me, mm -hmm. you know, and if you can't, and, and they're hard to read, but you go look at the different sections. It's not under the personal injury protection section. It's not under the bodily injury liability section. It's not under the uninsured motorist coverage section. It is under the comprehensive and collision section of that policy that you want to know and understand or have someone explain it to you. Mm -hmm. So you will uh, leave that uh, dealership with confidence that you're covered. Yeah, it's really important, I think. Uh, just all the situations I've seen people get stuck in by being connected with with the law firm and doing the marketing with you guys. All the situations I've seen people get stuck in where it's, it's just sad because, oh, this paperwork didn't know ahead of time to do this or didn't no one told me about that and it's it really is frustrating to watch people it, it's sad in those gears no, it, 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 it is it, you know uh to say the very least uh and you wish there was something you could do but like yeah. oftentimes 
Well, unfortunately, uh, yeah, oftentimes out of your hands and everyone knows this, it costs too much to hire the lawyer to recoup monies that would maybe even less than, than what you're paying. So it's kind of, it is sad, yeah. but bottom line, you can avoid that when purchasing yes. a vehicle by making sure that you're covered and then you don't have that problem. Speaking of things that can be avoided. What do you uh, got? I didn't throw this on you before the stream. So cut me off if you don't want to talk about it. But did you see the uh, Tampa police chief that got uh, pulled over in her golf cart and then flashed her badge to try to get out of the ticket? The current Tampa police chief? Yeah. Mary, that woman Mary that was just, the woman's yeah. been there a year or less? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all over the news right now. Yeah. I saw yeah. this morning. I was laughing. But she didn't well, well, first off, she was she in a golf cart. Yeah. She drove out of their community onto public roads, but didn't have it tagged and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so, kind of like I yeah. say, some of those carts in Sun City Center, you yeah. can drive them on the road. Right, yeah. And I think yeah. there's one in my neighborhood. Dude, it's a nice car. He's got lights and brakes and a tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a couple of people who have some of those. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Things yeah, that no, can be you know what? I'm, I'm not touching it. Tag it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Uh, you know, it's, uh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a no-no. You know, okay, you're not supposed to do that, but the, it'll be interesting to see uh, yeah. what happens. But yeah, yeah, you know what? That's a. Uh, well, I think she's already stepped up and uh, accepted responsibility for well, it. Well, what are you going to do? Past that. She, uh, yeah, now, see, the thing with that is, well, I'm going to try to get out of it. And then if I don't and I get busted, now I'm going to say, oh, I was wrong. Yeah, that's crap. Right. Yeah. But again, I, I will move on. <laughs> but I will say, uh, God yeah. bless. Um, the other it side is. of the law is yeah. now out. Uh, it, it hit the bookshelves at what? Yeah, the there's 26? the uh, billboard. I'm showing the uh, billboard. Uh, let me see. Yeah, well, it's on billboards. And then it's, uh, yeah. um, it's, it's at uh, Amazon if you want to buy it and read the greatest story that ever was ever written. <laughs> uh, I recommend you do so. It's yeah, also like it's getting good reviews. Something like a five dollars on it on an ebook. And people say, well, why don't you give free books? There's no such thing as that anymore. I have to pay for the books. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was like, so I was like, Amazon, what? Amazon will determine that it might throw your book up on sale in, in on its own. They might do that and run their own promotions with it. Well, I can't. Um, yeah, Amazon. No Amazon's going to do what Amazon's going right. to do. There's nothing. No control over nothing. It, Paul. But, uh, Paul yeah. or Crystal can do about that. But it says, you know, I uh, I would like to buy a million. I would like to pass up a million books. Because yeah. you know the chances of this thing making money, I doubt it. I don't. I didn't do it for that. I just want people to read it because I think it's pretty cool. It, it is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> We're getting a lot and of really good. And let me here. say this: yeah. everybody, there, there, there's a million stories. You all know it. You all grew up. With <laughs> uh, I, I, I hope to write more than one book. And so, if you didn't make this one. You yeah, might then, very uh, well make the next one. Okay, I got one uh, for you. If you it's didn't just make that this simple. one, do what? Go on. I said if you didn't make this one, go on Facebook and find find the promotional post for it and comment below with one of your crazy stories you remember from Paul. And if it's okay, or we'll, we'll keep it enough. Well, it, it might make or, the full you know version what? of that might make it to the hey, next one. Or shoot me shoot me an email. Yeah. Uh. Uh. And I'll put it on because I'm making every time I think of something and, and I'll talk to somebody about something. the book or a friend. I say, well, did, what about this? Story? I'm like, oh, shoot. OK, boom. And I, I yeah, kid yeah, you yeah. not. If you go to my my notes yeah. section here, dude, I've already <laughs> got I've already got. Uh, let me see. Where's my other yeah. side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, 14. I already got I already got 15 new paragraphs, so to speak, wow. from people say, what about this? I'm like, oh, yeah. so. I, I fully intend on writing another book and another book and another book, getting yeah. on uh, getting this to Netflix and then turning it into a gazillion dollars. So Jason and I be awesome. retire and Crystal was <laughs> happily ever after. Dude, some of these stories in here, like the Matador, I'm like, how uh, the how the hell, Paul? <laughs> like, yeah, that I'm one not gonna was, spoil uh, anything. I'm not gonna that spoil one anything. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, just <laughs> Yeah, I know that and the beauty yeah. is the yeah. beauty is with the book, um, there's pictures. So you can't say this is BS. Oh, really? The the uh, the Mardi Gras. All right. There's yeah. a picture. My black eye. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There are pictures. Oh, Crystal got the proofs in for the uh, 
the other version, the other hardback version that came in that we were looking at, the other publisher for that. Yeah, so right now it's paperback. There, there's, there's hopefully going to be a hardback version, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then uh, just Jason, so you know, supposedly my guy Jim, who does, you know, our, some of our media stuff, yeah, yeah. going to get me on in a couple of uh, morning TV shows. Oh, that'd be cool. To, to, to chat. That'd be fun. Maybe they'll read the book and ask me yeah. some stories. That'd be cool. And then uh, I'm going to try to go in and, and maybe to one of the bookstores around here, a couple of them, and see if they yeah, want. Let me know when you do that, and I might do some behind-the-scenes stuff. With All right. Me. Well, that's yeah, fine. But, I, you know, I, like I said, I want people just to read it because mm -hmm. I, I think it's an interesting book. It's, it's, it's not a long – I think it may take you a couple of hours, but – uh, it might take you uh, it it, people reader. like if you're on a plane, you may read the whole book from right. A to C. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, otherwise, yeah. it's you know read a couple chapters, you go to bed. You yeah. know, but uh, whatever. All right, so uh, oh. let's not take up everybody's time. It's okay. uh, I don't know what time it is. It's uh, oh, 25 one. after. Yeah. Uh, let me move out of the way and see uh, the law dog is still here. <laughs> <laughs> he is very excited about live feed read, as you can tell. As you can uh, that would be Millie Millie Light. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess that's it. I, I, this weekend, or it's unbelievable good? that 2022 is coming to an end already. Wow, and then um, Christmas will be here soon. God bless. Yeah, and uh, other than that, Jason, I guess any final words? All right, well, uh, my end. keep Crystal. In your oh, uh, everybody, if you will, yeah. uh, I'm not going to get into Crystal, which is Jason's wife and my friend and co author. They had a death in the family, and you know that uh, that sucks. Yeah, uh, so she's another friend of mine. Kids. Another friend of mine, which out I'm without you know getting into it. Her daughter passed as well. It sucks. So you know maybe a couple of prayers for loved ones lost would be great. It would be appreciated. Uh, and and you know if if it's it's that time of year, if you're somewhat estranged from loved ones. You know, it's, uh, I tell my kids, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, life's short. And, uh, and so you may want to think about, hey, you know, I've held this grudge too long. Yeah, Let man. me be the bigger man, so to speak. And I use that term uh, generically, the bigger sure. person. Big and, and try to, uh, try to uh, end the, end, end the rift, so to speak. That's just, life's you know, short, man. I, I believe you'll be happier uh, in the long run. You know what, I heard a quote. Uh, I heard a quote recently is like the most important step is the next step. Yeah. I mean, again, I don't know if it's in the, I think it is in the book, but I don't want to ruin it. But you know, we were estranged from my grandparents for a while hmm. and, uh, and I don't remember what all I said, but that's why I kind of need to, you know, have talk about a chapter at a time, you know, in the book once maybe down the road. But I remember mom, yeah. grandma and grandpa lived down the road. We, we drove right by our street and we we're like, where are we going? And it was like, well, it's time to go make up with grandma and grandma. And the rest yeah. is history. So, you know, yeah, cool. it's not something that I preach from lack of experience. Right, now, right, right. I was little and I didn't have a say in whether or not we went and made up with grandma and grandpa Reed. But yeah. I remember doing so. And uh, and it was it was uh, a blessing from that day until they passed away. Yep. That's all, all right. Cool. Well, now, That's damn, cool. I guess now I'm really done. We're done, done. All right, Take us cool. out, Jason. Take Everybody have a nice weekend. Yeah. And uh, we'll, God willing, God we'll bless. see you next Friday. Yeah, yeah.